Good morning from National Weather Service Pocatello. This is your weather hazard briefing for Tuesday, July 19th. Our key points for today, we do have high pressure building over the next several days, and so this is going to lead to dry conditions and warming temperatures. We'll have a few breezy days, and the next disturbance is going to arrive at the end of the week, and this is going to bring slight chances for thunderstorms and a slight decrease in temperatures. Our weather risk outlook over the next several days, our main concerns are going to be low humidity levels and breezy conditions. We are going to warm up under high pressure as well. And then as that next system arrives, Friday and Saturday will have very slight chances for showers and thunderstorms, at least at this time. And they'll mostly be confined to the eastern and southeastern highlands, as well as portions of the central mountains. Our current look at satellite imagery, you can see it's pretty clear over our area. We do have a high pressure ridge set up over the southwestern um, United States right now. So we will have scattered clouds filtering in across the afternoon. And then we will see those clear out again overnight. Our wind gust and minimum humidity for today. We will see gusts uh, a little bit breezy, not as much as yesterday, but we could see 25 to 30 mile per hour gusts. And minimum humidity will be below 15% for most areas north um, of Pocatello, this line here. And winds are going to stay just shy of red flag criteria, so we don't have any fire products out right now. But of course, those fire risks and concerns still do apply with breezy conditions and really dry conditions like this. Our temperatures today um, for most of the Snake River Plain and Magic Valley and portions further south will be in the mid 80s to the low 90s. We'll reach um, those highs today and 70s and 80s uh, for most of our higher elevations. Wind gusts and minimum humidity levels for tomorrow. Uh, wind speeds are going to be pretty similar to today. Um, and humidity levels will be pretty similar as well, but maybe not quite as low. And our temperatures, our lows for tomorrow, uh, we're looking at lots of temperatures in the 60s, especially further south and um, some 50s further up um, in our higher elevations. And for our highs tomorrow, we'll be several degrees warmer as that high pressure builds in. Um, more areas will reach into the mid 90s, as you can see here. And for our six to 10 day outlooks, um, sad news, but we are gonna be above normal for temperatures likely and uh, likely drier than normal. And so just to go over what we talked about, we do have a ridge over us. Uh, we have high pressure building in over the next several days. So we're gonna be pretty dry with those low humidity levels um, and warming temperatures. And we will also have a few breezy days and the next disturbance is going to arrive midweek, so this will bring with it slight chances for some showers and thunderstorms, uh, mostly confined to the highlands, uh, southeastern and eastern highlands, as well as portions of the central mountains. And it will bring a slight decrease in temperatures um, and an increase in those humidity levels very so slightly. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us, call us, or check us out on weather.gov. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful day.